This tutorial is about getting user input in MATLAB. User input can make a program interactive as opposed to being static. If you simply declare all your variables in the beginning of your script file, they cannot be changed interactively by the user. However, sometimes it is desirable for the user to enter various values. For example, if the program is calculating the result of running a particular trial a given number of times, it would be nice for the user to be able to enter how many trials he wants the program to run. To get user input in MATLAB, we use the input command. The syntax is variable equals input parentheses and a string message inside the parentheses. For example, x equals input and then we enter a string, enter a value for x. Then we close that to make it a proper string, close the parentheses. And now when I hit enter, this will display a message on the screen and MATLAB will halt all other execution until I enter something at the prompt, as you can see here. Suppose I entered a value 5. When I hit enter, x now has the value 5. I can likewise enter any numerical type here, scalars, vectors, or matrices. For example, m equals input, enter a matrix m. Now I'll enter a matrix, 1, 2, 3, 4, After I hit enter, M will be assigned the 2x2 two two matrix, as you can see here. There is an optional argument to the input function. This argument is the letter S enclosed in single quotes. This indicates that the entry should be stored as a string. For example, S1 equals input, enter your name. I'll close that string, comma, the optional argument will be the letter S in single quotes. After I hit enter, it will display the prompt as usual, but now anything I enter, letters or numbers or anything else, will get stored as a string in S1. I don't have to put single quotes around my entry, which makes it more user-friendly. When I enter Ilya, it gets stored in the string S1. Overall, the input command in MATLAB is very useful for making a program interactive as it allows the user to enter whatever values he wants without having to declare them explicitly in the beginning of the program.